Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, on this video I'm going to be doing a bit of day stalking, but it's just started drizzling, so don't like the camera being out when it's drizzling. Um, as you can see I've got the uh, tarp set up into a, a plough configuration. I'm going to be doing a bit of steak and eggs later on. Um, so yeah, day stalking. Um, I do know there is muntjac days in this woodland that I'm in. This is one of my permission woodlands. Um, I don't have any hunting rights whatsoever in here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, gonna see if we can find some. Um, obviously, you don't need to be wearing camo. This is what I wear all the time. Um, but drab clothing uh, is usually okay for going deer hunting. The, the main thing is remain quiet, move slowly. Um, listen to the undergrowth to see if there's any uh, any movements in the undergrowth that kind of thing um, I've got a few problems myself because I'm filming for you guys one is there's loads of leaf litter on the forest floor so I can't see where the, the sticks and the twigs are that are going to break under my feet so that's one disadvantage and the other disadvantage is the camera um, the shutter is quite noisy on this camera which is the Canon uh, 1300D DSLR. Um, there is a little bit of wind which might disguise any kind of uh, noises that I create. Um, so yeah, a pair of black gloves cover your skin um, is another thing. So I've just got my me, uh, me mosquito net. I'll just whack that on with my hat um, so that the skin shows up like there's no tomorrow. Especially to a wild animal. I mean, these tricks and tips um, that I'm giving, going to give you can be used to um, with any wild animals, not just uh, not just deers, but foxes, badgers, that kind of thing. So yeah, um, I'm hopeful we'll see something, but uh, we'll record whatever anyway. There is a uh, a badger set in here as well, so I might take you up to see that. So right, let's crack on. The first thing really is to to move out of this this camp as quietly as possible. Um, so I might just leave it for 10-15 minutes because I can't hear any birds now and I did before I started filming so um, give it 10-15 minutes before I move out and then uh, I'll bring you back. I'm going to make my way up to the drive and then I'm going to take it from there so I'll see you in a minute. See if I can hear anything. Watching for any movement. Now I've got um, I've got my binocular with me. This one's uh, 18 by 52. Um, the main reason I use a binocular, a uh, binocular, is because I've got poor sight in this eye. But, um, pair of binoculars. Uh, medium magnification one should do you. So nothing's going on so far. We're on the, um, on the what's called the drive. As you can see, it opens up. It's quite deciduous on one side of the forest. We've got pine on the other side of the forest. So what we'll do is just walk up and down here, very quietly. Let's see if we can see anything.
Okay, okay guys. Couldn't see anything up that end. That way, so I'm gonna try the other way. Just open up into a field in a bit so we might have a chance there. Um, when you're stalking, especially in a field, try and stay low or next to the hedges. Don't uh, silhouette against the skyline because that's a dead giveaway. They'll spot you straight away. And one jacks have an incredible sensitive uh, nose. Uh, an incredible kind of um, sense of smell. So it's possible they can smell me before, they, before I even see them. Let's carry on. Right guys, what I've just been doing is looking to see if there's any sign in the mud. The woods are behind me, in front of me if op are open fields. And this is kind of a corridor, if you like, between the two. <clears throat> um, been looking for signs of hoofs. Um, very small ones. So it is only a small animal for the jack. So I can't see anything. Um, I can only see humans and horses. Uh, all of which are quite old by the looks of them. So uh, we'll press on a bit further. <sighs> right guys. As you can see, the track becomes an embankment on both sides. So I'm not going to be able to see in the woods from here. It's very difficult for me to do it, trying to set up the camera, trying to do talk to you guys, being quiet about it, recording the audio. There's a lot of things going on. Um, because if I wasn't recording for YouTube, I'd just have this, you know, and I could just move very quietly, very slowly through the woodlands without having to return to, the, to a camera all the time. So, uh, yeah, we will try again. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to head back to camp now. Right, guys, so I hope that uh, you've learnt something from that little stalking bit of the video. Unfortunately, we didn't see anything on this occasion, but, um, it's, like I say, it is hard to do the camera and everything, walk backwards and forwards quietly and all that kind of thing, set the shots up and all that. Um, but hopefully you've seen some pictures on the screen of some mump jacks anyway. Um, so uh, it's tea time now. It's going a little bit, uh, the wind's picked up a little bit and it's, it's going a little bit dusky. I don't know if it's going to chuck it down or or uh, what. I don't know what time it is. Um, I would imagine it's probably about half five, maybe six, I don't know. Uh, but the nights are drawing in, aren't they now? So for tea, I've got uh, Boswell Farms, piece of sirloin steak there few field mushrooms, uh, three eggs. I've got a cup of soup that's been knocking around um, in my little uh, cash for camping food store. Um, it's been in there ages. Uh, it's not even got a date on it. Uh, minestrone, so I thought I'd use that up. Right, let's crack on with it. Right, let's get everything ready. Oh, I'm still no better guys either, so uh, I'll have to put up with me using my gammy arm still. 
it, it, I think it's getting better sometimes and then it just goes back to normal again so let's open this steak up so there's a there's nice piece of steak there guys look at that give that a bit of uh, salt and pepper on the uh, Primus gas today guys just for simplicity can't open the valve let's get the pan on there a little bit of oil I'm going to start the uh, steak off. I like my steak medium rare. Get that hot first, then I'll chop the mushrooms. In fact, I can do the mushrooms now, can't I? Just going to slice them. They've only got four, not a great deal. So I've just uh, just chopped my mushrooms. Let's get the steak in the uh, frying pan. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. So uh, I do like this knife. Um, I've actually cut the little pressed thing off it that was there with a loop on it because it kept getting in the way. Um, so yeah, I'll make a leather sheath for it and then uh, I'll, I'll show you guys how I do that on the video when I get the materials for it. So I like my steak medium rare, um, so I'll let that get going, chuck these mushrooms in as well. Then I'll let it rest and then I'll do the eggs. you how I transport my eggs. This is a Nesquik I think, uh, I think it's Nesquik. You get um, milkshake powder in them. So all I've done is packed it out with a little bit of fabric, a few tissues. As long as the eggs don't move around too much they don't knock against each other and break. So uh, that's what I always use to carry my eggs in. I really must get myself a spatula because I don't own one. I might even make one. Yeah, you see anything sticking to the pan. I think I'm getting ready for a new frying pan as well, guys. Not to worry down the same way. Barbecue sauce for the uh, for the egg. Just a 
nice change. Might as well put some on the mushroom as well. I'd say that's medium. Why is it a little bit rare, but it's just fine. Oh yes, that's very nice. Right guys, uh, box of tea all sorted out. I'm just going to chill out and listen to a bit of the radio. Um, I have got an early dart tomorrow. Um, so I won't be doing the filming in the morning, I'll just pack up and clear off. Um, don't forget guys that the, uh, the giveaway is still open, so if you've not seen that video I'll put a link in the description. Um, go and check it out, there's a chance to win some, uh, some cool stuff. Uh, right, so I think that's, uh, that's about it, I'm going to wrap the video up uh, just by saying thank you for watching as always, please like and subscribe. and. Um, Give me thumbs up, thumbs down. I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers, guys.